guys, what's up? Lewin here at GarageBand and Beyond. Welcome back. Today, what I wanted to talk about was my Hollebeck mandolin. Um, now, you know, a lot of people don't know about Hollebeck mandolins, and that's why I'm making this video. Andre Hollebeck is a master luthier from the Czech Republic, and he builds, you know, in the price range, which is about $5,000, um, I can tell you, it is the best mandolin in that price range. I've played Callings and I've played, um, I mean, I paint Gilcrest mandolins that I would, you know, this isn't as nice as a Gilcrest, but I will say it was not that different. I was actually pretty surprised and really happy with this little guy. Um, so let me just show you a little bit. Um, I have a tone guard. I'm going to take that off and I'll talk about that in a minute. So of course, you know, it's all hand carved. It's a solid spruce top, uh, really beautiful flamed. Uh, it's hard to see with all the damn reflection. Uh, really nice uh, flamed maple back and sides. Um, his workmanship is top notch. I can't tell you enough um, how many mandolin players, inclu including Chris Thiele, have played this mandolin and have been totally blown away, especially when you tell them how much you pay for it um, because it, it really is dramatically different. Um, as you could hear, you know, it's a really nice, boomy, it's got lots of bass, it's really bright, good uh, punch in the treble, good punch in the bass end. Um, you'll have no problem keeping up in jams uh, and having volume issues. This is a really loud mandolin, and I love it. You know, I've played this on stage with a ton of different people, and um, it's never failed me. It's always been a great thing. And again, you know, the workmanship is top notch. So if you're looking for a high end mandolin, I really recommend the Hollebeck uh, mandolins. Let me just give you a little more um, sample. Um, actually, let me put, actually, well, let's talk about this now. I have this and I gotta move out of the way just so you can see it. Uh, this is one of the best cheap inventions ever. This is a tone guard. If you don't know what it is, it just goes on the back of the mandolin, just like this. It's got some, uh, you know, rubber feet and stuff, so it doesn't actually touch it because it's made out of metal. Um, but what it does is once it's on, I can show you, it actually creates a space between the mandolin and my body. So what it, um, you know, so it basically keeps my body off of the mandolin. So with it on, it sounds like this. Let me just give you a little, right? If I take it off, it sounds like this, right? So you should be able to hear a difference. I mean, here it is like, away from my body and on my body, right? So there's a lot less um, low end when it's touching my body. So I uh, actually, I got lucky and I bought this mandolin used and it came with the tone guard. I talked the guy into selling it with the tone guard. But yeah, you can hear, you know, it's a very... cold in here today but anyway yeah it's a nice you know really nice woody punchy sounding mandolin and like I said I would put this against any callings any day of the week um, the callings you know not to say they're bad I, I love callings mandolins I think they sound really really good however for the money that you're paying which is you know in the forty five hundred dollar to seven thousand dollar range for a callings I would happily have a Hollebeck instead. Sorry, Collings, it's just, you know, to me, it's a fact. Uh, these are nicer sounding mandolins. You can get them through Mandolin Brothers. You can find them online. Um, but yeah, I just sort of wanted to give Andre a help, uh, some help because no one has talked about these on YouTube at all. And I think they're the best mandolins in that price range. And I've played pretty much all of them. So anyway, that's it. That's my little review of Hollebeck mandolins. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you soon. All right, bye.